Do you still think this is what's happening to cause the tides? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Well, why don't we see if we can take a look of what's actually going on. First, you need to know a few things, like how tides don't really impact fresh water. And their explanation is that, well, they're just too small. Well, I would think that something smaller would probably be impacted a little more, but let's keep looking. Now, we all know the difference between freshwater and seawater is that seawater is salinated. And what does salination have? It has salt and salt is a positively charged ion. So your seawater versus your freshwater has a positive charge to it. And you don't need to be a rocket scientist, which apparently is less intelligent than I originally thought, to know that the sun has positive charge, a positive energy. I literally moved to Florida to experience this positive energy year round. And well, if the sun is positive, then is there a chance that the moon has negative energy? And if so, is there any evidence for that? Well, do you know that moonlight is actually colder than the moon shade? This is a very well-known thing in the FE community. It's one of the first things you learn that kind of opens your mind to the fact that, hey, maybe the moon isn't just reflecting the sun's light, but something else is going on. So if the sun has positive energy or is giving off a positive charge, and if the moon is producing a negative energy, so now, is it possible to think that the moon and the sun actually interact with our environment? Think of things like the sunflowers actually turning towards the sun's positive energy. And then think of the moon having negative energy and interacting with the positively charged saltwater ions. Could it possibly just be having a pulling effect? And as the moon travels over us, it is having a little bit of a tugging effect on those tides. And when you look at the sun and the moon interaction, when the sun is directly across from the moon, the moon is full because they do have a anode and cathode relationship in my opinion. And when there's a full moon, it's more negatively charged. So it's stronger on the tides, AKA king tides. Now, when I first came into the truth of not living on a globe and the sun and the moon being different than what I thought, I didn't think the moon had anything to do with the tides because I knew gravity was nonsense. But when you actually experience it and you see the tides reacting to the giant full moon, you know the moon does play a part, for sure. And now while I can't prove it for absolute certain, I think I've provided at least a little bit of evidence for this to be an accurate depiction of what's actually going on with our saltwater tides and the moon and the sun, and the realm you live in. But of course, this is all for entertainment purposes. I definitely know that gravity pulls up on the tides and the water just stays there as the earth is spinning somehow into those tides, as said by Neil deGrasse Tyson. On earth and you're rotating through the high oh. and low tides. Again, all for entertainment purposes, but if you want some non-entertainment, some really good information, Go to that website or the app store and get this app and use my code and have an awesome day. Entertainment only.